In standing, we also want to assess the tibia in sagittal plane, as well as visualize the knee angle in the same sagittal plane stance position. Observing this plane allows the clinician to evaluate for a potential leg length discrepancy due to a compensation in stance position. For example, genu recurvatum functionally shortens the longer limb. So Alana, if you'll turn to the side for me, we can see if she has any genu recurvatum at the knee. Okay, so genu recurvatum will shorten the limb. So that's an, uh, a, uh, uh, an assessment that may lead us to uh, read a little bit further into whether or not there's a leg length discrepancy. Knee flexion functionally shortens that limb. Again, that could potentially lead us to evaluate further for a leg length issue. Also, if we see any transverse plane rotation, whether the, the tibia looks internal or externally rotation, uh, or the, the hip is internally or externally rotated uh, with towing in or towing out, again, that could be a compensatory strategy for a leg length issue and should uh, require further assessment.